Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Today, we're doing jet engines. Okay, in order for us to get started, we're actually going to need some parts, obviously. So let's grab some jet engine parts. All right, as you can see, we've got all the parts that we need here, uh, minus the fluid jet. We'll disregard that. That's not part of the jet engines package here. But uh, let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and first thing, we, we need a small jet engine fan. And we're just going to put this together today. We're going to get it running and get it going. Uh, that's literally what this tutorial is about, is just getting these things together and started so you guys can start using it. We're not going to go in to all the nitty gritty details about why it runs, what it does. We're just going to get it running for you guys today so you can actually start building some jet engines. Uh, so we've got our intake fan. Next, we're going to need a compression chamber. Uh, this is just taking all the air that it's pulling in and compressing it. After that, we need a combustion chamber. Does exactly what you you think it does. It combusts the fuel. Uh, so let's get where our fuel port is up here. After the combustion chamber comes the turbine here. Uh, and this is what provides power. There are two here. Uh, there's a small one and a large one. Uh, the difference is that the larger one has a RPS port on it. So if you were to want to, say, finish your jet engine here, you could provide fuel to it, and you could have this pipe out to, say, uh, a prop system for a helicopter or for a plane. Uh, but we're going to keep going a little further here, and we're going to keep going out to an afterburner thruster here. Uh, there are two different size thrusters. Uh, there is a smaller jet exhaust, which works just as fine. Uh, the difference is the afterburner has an extra little port on it for fuel for adding more power. Uh, we're not going to hook that up today, but this is just the parts that I'm going to be using so you know what we have, and then you can work your way down from there. All right, with that done, we need a tank for our fuel. We'll take that. We'll slap this right there. Make sure we change it from diesel to jet fuel. Uh, simple enough. There we go. Uh, now we're going to need a PID. Uh, this is going to control our jet engine and make it run smooth. Throttle, throttle. We need a couple throttles here. And I'll tell you why we need two of them here in just a second. But we're going to put down a throttle and a throttle. Okay, we've got two throttles here. We need a push button, push button, and a push to toggle. Now, there are several different ways to get jet engines going. This is the way I learned. I thought it was one of the easiest ways. So I'm going to tell you guys how to do it. And then... Once you get into jet engines, you'll start learning. There's several other ways to get them going, and there's several other ways to maintain these things. But we're going to get it going this way. Uh, so let's go ahead. You know what? We need a battery because, you know, these things need power. We got a battery. So let's go ahead and start hooking up all of our power. I'm going to go do, 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 do. Here we go. All of our power is hooked up. We're going to come into the logic. We're going to start with an RPS out of our combustion chamber, and that's gonna come into our process variable. Then we're gonna come over here to our first throttle, and that's gonna go into our set point. So we're gonna call this throttle. All right, so from the set, the control out point of the PID, that now goes to our throttle, okay? Following along so far? Good. All right, from our push button, we're gonna go two places. We're going to our push to toggle, and we're going to our compressor. And this is gonna do two things. While we hold our push button down, it's gonna run the compressor. When we let go, the compressor will stop running, but hopefully by then the engine has started and the compressor will continue to run. Putting it to the push to toggle brings it over and makes it keep an on state for our PID to stay activated, which is great, that's what we need. Uh, so our other throttle here, we're gonna grab it and we're gonna go straight to our thrust spoiler. All right, now we gotta do some changes here. Uh, first, things, first things first, Let's call this starter. We're gonna call this thrust. We're gonna put a start value of this to one. That's gonna keep it from going anywhere. I know it seems a little backwards, but it, it's what it does. Uh, so that is all set up there. That's all set up there. That's all set up there. Now let's go into our PID and change some of these settings. Uh, what do these do? Don't ask, this is a beginner's guide. We're just getting you started. Um, once you get a little more advanced into it, you can probably figure out what some of these do. Uh, but in a nutshell, this is going to be your main driving force. Uh, your integral gain is going to be your kind of your trickle effect, and your derivative gain is going to be your inhibitor. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. Just plug these numbers in, and we'll get things going. We're going to go with a 0 0.01 on proportional gain. We're going to go 0 0.0001 on integral gain. 
and we're going to go 0 0.01 on derivative gain, and we're going to leave max value at a zero. Okay, whoops, too many numbers there. All right, that should, in theory, be everything we need to get this jet engine going. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, I guess let's spawn this in and try this out. Where are we? Okay, here we are. Oh, I've forgotten one thing, you guys. I forgot one thing. Let's go back and change this. Uh, our throttle, our actual throttle here, uh, we're going to make the max value of this 190. Uh, this is actually controlling our RPS of our jet engine. Uh, anything over 190 has a tendency to explode. Uh, we can actually make it explode here on the ground. If the jet engines are not moving in game, I've noticed that's when they tend to explode quicker. So it needs that air movement. I guess it's like a cooling system for the for the uh, jet engines. Who knows? But they got to be moving. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn this in. Let's get it started. You'll see it working. And yeah, where is our... Okay, so we're going to throttle up just a little bit. We'll go say 38 RPS. We're holding it. That's running our compressor. And now we're started. PID is continuing to stay on because of our push to toggle, but our compressor is no longer running, but it's still compressing air, which is great. So we're just spooling up here. RPS should stop around 38. Nope, RPS is still going. Okay, it is actually going back down. Uh, it's it's working its magic. It's just doing it a little bit slower. Uh, but we are going back to 38 uh, RPS, which is great. All right, so here we are. Uh, the engine's running. Everything's good to go. Uh, at this point, this is when you would want to push onto your thrust nozzle here. And it would cause this to open up and actually push power. And this thing is actually going to take off here from us. So let's just go ahead and do this and actually see what it does. It's, it's going to disappear. Woo, here we go. Okay, we're taking it for a ride. There we go. And we're making art. All right, everyone. So there you go. Uh, that is a simple jet engine tutorial. I know there's other ways to do this, but I just wanted to get you guys kind of started and going. I know I had a lot of trouble when I first started doing jet engines. It was very confusing. Uh, so hopefully this tutorial helps you out. Hopefully it gets your jet engines running and going, and then you can become a master from there. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped. If it did, like the video, share it with someone that you know needs some help on jet engines. And yeah, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We've got many more tutorials to come, many more videos. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the future.